But what bad habits will AI amplify? That's the question that I worry about. And I'm going to give you a couple of habits that I think are, are sort of worth thinking about. So in Casino Royale, James Bond likes to say, you don't play the hand you're dealt. You play the man across from you, right? Which is both incredibly stupid and absolutely correct. Because it turns out, and this is, again, based on the work of Kahneman and Tversky and then all kinds of work that came out of it. They had a classic idea called prospect theory that then created this idea that, that we don't hang on to probabilities very well. It basically boils down to this. The human mind can handle only five probabilities. When you and I are told, oh, there's a 30% chance of this and 70% chance of showers and blah, 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 we can't handle that. It turns out we can only handle five. And they are 99%, 1%, <laughs> 100%, zero percent, and 50-50. That's it. That's all your brain can do. And so we will also do anything to move 99% to 100%. This is the essence of travel insurance and the insurance they try to sell you on things that you order in the mail, right? Your brain doesn't like 99%. We're sort of allergic to uncertainty. But we're not actually doing the math. Well, I'm seeing this tendency the, the tendency to believe that we somehow can handle probability and the fact that, according to the research, that our brains really can't handle it at all, playing out already in the artificial intelligence space. So a company called Epic built this probabilistic AI system for Louisiana's largest healthcare company, Oxner Health. And they are using it in, in cardiac wards to help guide the cardiac uh, interventions, basically the, the doctors on their rounds. And using machine learning, just using the, the statistical probabilities from past patients, they say, okay, at this, you know, this, this patient in this room has a, let's say, 87% chance of deteriorating in the next few hours. Now, I don't want to beat up on this system. It's actually working incredibly well. It's reducing cardiac codes, they call it, when you actually go into cardiac arrest. It's having an incredible effect on, it's a, a very positive effect on patient outcomes. But I'd also like to point out that showing even a trained physician something like an 85% probability or a 79% probability or whatever it is doesn't actually translate into anything more than either 100%, 90%, 99%, 1%, 0%, or 50-50. And the people at Epic and the people at Oxner have both told me that they have to be pretty careful about how they calibrate the percentage that is delivered to the physician because it, if it's too low, they ignore it, and if it's too high, it becomes sort of an emergency. We don't have any kind of calibration for that. So in, in essence, they're delivering a binary decision, a go, no-go kind of decision to the physician. And to me, I think that is, that is it's good in this case but I'm not sure it's always going to be good.